Welcome to Automotive Territory. The auto market in America is indeed huge, with record-breaking 2016 and 2017 sales that reached tens of millions of new vehicles. But among those eight-digit numbers are missing some wonderful four-wheelers that are not sold in the US. Manufacturers have various reasons for this. They rely on research data that indicates that a certain model won't sell well in a particular country, do not want to disrupt sales of their already successful models, or cannot comply with safety or emissions regulations. However, very likely there is another explanation. Sometimes car makers blatantly ignore potential buyers and simply impose those models that have higher profit margins. So in this episode, we want to show you some of the best cars that Americans can't buy, while the rest of the world can. But before we do, remember the subscription to our channel will bring you informative automotive content twice a week. Enjoy the ride! Audi RS4 Event Another beautifully built car that we'll not see in the USA is 2018 Audi RS Event. Though its wagon body style may not seem much of a looker, do not let it fool you. Under the hood, the car hides a 2.9-liter V6 by turbo engine paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. This type of motor is so powerful and agile that it is typically used in various Porsches. The engine delivers 444 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque, propelling the vehicle from 0 to 60 mph in only 4.1 seconds. The RS4 Event comes with Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive, allowing for even sportier performance. However, following a stereotype that Americans just do not buy wagons, Audi, as many other manufacturers, is not willing to lose money and is not bringing such models to the American market. Lotus Exige Sport 380 Introduced back in 2016, the Lotus Exige Sport 380 is road legal supercar designed and built in the UK. Having carbon fiber infused body, it is faster and lighter than Sport 350 and has better power to weight ratio of 352 horsepower to ton. The 3.5 liter Toyota sourced supercharged V6, paired with a 6 speed manual transmission, brings the car to 60 mph in 3.5 seconds and then accelerates it to 178 miles per hour top speed. In addition, starting from $97,000, it is reasonably priced for its class. Though more than a year has gone by from its launch, we should not expect to see this Lotus or any other car from the Exige or Alice line on the US market, since the exemption on modern dual-stage airbags expired in the US, but the manufacturer continued to use this technology. Lotus Exige Sport 380 and other street Lotuses can no longer be sold in America. Honda S660 If you think that Type R is the most interesting and hottest automobile manufactured by Honda these days, you probably haven't seen the baby roadster S660. Since this is a key car, it must comply with the strict government regulations, forcing it to have a maximum displacement of 660 cubic centimeters and three cylinders. But the S has a turbocharger to it. The power is channeled to the rear wheels and it is rated at 64 horses and 76 pound-feet of torque. Even though the top speed is just 82 miles per hour, but this is irrelevant. The fun you get when throwing this agile roadster around corners is all that matters. Unfortunately, even if you have already fallen in love with the super compact auto, you won't be able to become an owner, unless you live in Japan, where it's exclusively sold. Renault Megane RS This all-new five-door hatch is produced by the performance division of Renault, and the manufacturer's ambitions are to set the new world record for the fastest mass-produced front-wheel drive car at Nürburgring. Megane RS will be trying to get the title of the hottest hatchback using a 1.8-liter turbocharged engine with 280 horsepower output and 5.8 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration. The very basic trim with a manual 6-speed tranny will cost 37,600 euros, while the automatic dual clutch will make the bar shed 39,400 euros, which corresponds to 44.5 and 47,000 US dollars. But these are just basic prices. The full package with red Brembo calipers, limited slip differential, 19-inch lightweight alloy wheels, Alcantara finishing, special Bose audio system and one-of-a-kind yellow or orange paint will add another $7,500 to the final price. Ford Ranger The Ranger was discontinued on the North American market back in 2011, however remained a good seller in Europe. 
The 2018 model here gets two powertrains, a 2.2 or a 3.2 TDCI dual torque diesel with outputs ranging between 160 and 200 horses and 285 through 347 pound-feet of torque. The car can tow up to 7,700 pounds when properly equipped. Like with any of the new Fords, you can expect such optional safety features as adaptive cruise control, front collision warning and lane keep assist. Good news is that the Ford Ranger will be coming back to the US market in 2019. The reason for the change of heart at Ford was probably due to extremely high sales of the same class revised GMC Canyon and Chevrolet Colorado within that period when the Ranger was out of the picture. Sad Leon Cupra R While the 2017 mid-cycle update and boost in power of Cupra were not enough to match the European specifications of the VW Golf R, the Spanish manufacturer managed to fix this mistake in 2018 by giving 310 horsepower to the limited edition R modification. This hot hatchback comes exclusively with front-wheel drive, manual transmission, front and rear spoilers are made from carbon fiber, the exterior is painted matte gray, and copper finishing of air intakes, mirrors and wheels top off the aggressive design. The new Leon Cupra R gets the latest safety technology, including pedestrian protection, traffic jam assist, and tiredness recognition. Unfortunately, only 799 units of the most powerful Seat Cupra will be produced, and all of them have already been sold out, priced from $47,000. Alpine A110 This compact French sports car was originally manufactured in the 60s and 70s, but Renault-Nissan Alliance decided to resurrect the Icon in 2017. Its aluminum body is just 13 feet in length and the engineers managed to keep the weight of the car at 2,380 pounds. The powertrain is located between the rear wheels and it is a 1.8-liter turbocharged engine designed by the specialists at Renault Sport. It has peak output of 252 horsepower and max torque of 236 pound-feet. The engine is coupled with an upgraded Gatrack 7-speed robot transmission. Dynamic specs include 4.5 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 155 mph electronically limited top speed. It is known that the first edition of this car will include 1,955 copies, with around $65,000 price tag. However, the sales will be Europe and Japan oriented. Skoda Kirok Spacious and elegant, the new Skoda Kirok SUV is universal for family, business, casual or outdoor driving. It comes as a replacement for an extremely popular Skoda Yeti, and despite being met with some doubts, the vehicle has a lot to show for it. Roomy interior, modern technologies and well-thought equipment ensure passenger and driver comfort and functionality. The car has parking assist, adaptive cruise control and travel assist systems. It is available in several engine options ranging in power and efficiency. The 113-horsepower 1.0-liter TSI comes standard on the Karak. Starting from $30,000, it will be sold in the UK, Europe and Australia. However, as any other Skoda, it will not be available in the US as for now. The company renounced its ambition to expand there, focusing on India instead. Toyota Hilux Originally introduced in 1968, the new Toyota Hilux represents the eighth generation of this legendary vehicle. Available with either a 2.4-liter or a 2.8-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel, the slight pickup is capable to tow up to 7,700 pounds. The vehicle is up to any task as it performs equally great in off-road conditions on a highway or cruising city streets. It is mostly assembled in Thailand, but it is so popular around the world that parts are easy to come by both in Europe and Asia. However, despite being a reliable, extremely dependable and long-lasting truck, Hilux is not offered in the US. The blame falls on the chicken tax, a 25% import duty applied to any non-US manufactured light pickups, and another factor is EPA guidelines that Hilux diesel engines simply do not meet. Volkswagen Polo GTI When a person hears about a VW Polo, one immediately imagines a compact, reliable, fuel-efficient, but a little boring car. This year Volkswagen decided to diversify its model row by making Polo another hot hatch. The new Polo GTI has been in development for the last three years and as a result shares features with both Golf and a regular Polo. 
It is equipped with Golf's 2.0-liter turbocharged gasoline engine that is slightly less powerful and has 197 horsepower. Why isn't Polo sold in the US? The answer is simple. Compact hatchback segment in the US is very price-driven. The cheaper, the better. And higher class, more expensive Polo just won't sell well. So do you wish you could buy some of these cars in the States? Share which ones in the comments below. If you liked our content, you can watch more videos suggested on this screen. The best way to support us would be to subscribe, like and share the video with your friends. May the torque be with you!